thanks for staying up with us. In this week's About Your Retirement, Jim, we have a question from someone, or I guess a statement rather, statement question they ask. We are retired boomers and considering moving with my mom in our home with us soon. However, we are not sure about the proper space and features we need for my mom now. We also want to be able to utilize what we can do with our future care in mind. How do you think we should approach this task? And you said that you've been getting a lot of these questions yes, lately. Yes, we have. Uh, Jennifer, and one of the interesting things about this question is they're wanting to uh, maybe plan to utilize what they invest in now for their mom for their own care in the future. They're in their late 60s, they're baby boomers, and so they, they, have a good, they have a pretty good plan. Um, some of the things that we want to share with people today is this question's really about making functional renovations that will accommodate everybody's needs mm -hmm. and so and we call this universal design in the in the design arena the architectural arena okay. but uh, the the first thing they need to consider is the ease of the renovations and uh, I always <laughs> preach if you will that one of the most important considerations is the bathroom and you need an accessible bathroom if it's not accessible that's where most falls occur in the home and so you, you have to have wider doorways, a large wheel-in shower, anything that the future could have in store there. In this particular case, uh, these people have a bedroom right next to uh, the, their bathroom. It's a three-bedroom home. It's just them. Now they'll move mom in, and so they can actually take a little bit of footage out of that adjoining a bedroom, it'll still make it leave a small bedroom because you're only taking three feet out of it. Okay. And I have recommended this several times and it's been very successful for people. It saves them money. And so it leaves our second point to prepare for caregiver space because some people may at some point want a live-in caregiver right. and so it still leaves a small enough bedroom to accommodate them. Okay. And then if you can't do that cost-effectively, uh, renovating the existing home, then the best thing to do is to add space to your home, a good 600 square foot plan. I've shared some designs uh, on air here in the past over the years and uh, they work very well to uh, get the uh, accessible floor space and to add on to the back of the home if it will accommodate it. And so some homes are different. Uh, it's not a great time to sell your home to buy the house <laughs> right. to renovate because all the money, Renovations extra money. Renovations are probably expensive <laughs> Well, right now they too. are because yeah. we just don't have, uh, uh, we don't have good costs right now mm -hmm. because everything is so crazy in the building industry. Yeah. Well, all of those are great tips, and um, I'm sure that you, you will continue to get those questions. So oh, yeah. uh, don't forget, you can get more retirement advice on Jim's other show. Watch Baby Boomers in action every weekend on News 9 and News 9 Plus. And for more information, visit News9.com slash your retirement.